Good evening. It is your boy, Big D. I've been meaning to try this for a couple weeks now, but I haven't really had the time to do it. I just kept getting sidetracked. I've just, I got so many important things going on with like work and things of that nature. But now I finally have time. We're going to be trying the new orange vanilla Coca-Cola. I wanted to try this as soon as they, I saw it in the store for the very first time, but I've, I've never really had the time. I just, there was just so many more important things I needed to get before I was going to get this. It only cost it only cost a buck. It only cost a measly buck to get this. So I figured when the time was right, I would buy it and we're going to try it. Nothing really nothing really to, nothing really to talk about other than it's just coke and it's just orange vanilla. Pretty self-explanatory. So now let's see how this tastes. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Little, it's kind of a little bitter, probably because there's a lot of, probably the cola taste dominating it may be bitter. Why it's pretty bitter? It's a, it's an acquired taste. You may not like it at first, but if you ever have, you, if you ever had that Stewart's. If you ever had that Stewart's orange creamsicle, this is what it, it tastes mostly like that, except it has a bitter aftertaste. That's the cola that you're tasting. It's just, it's just, it doesn't mix that well, unfortunately, but. Since I paid a measly buck and I'm a cheapskate, I might as well finish it, right? Mm. I figured maybe I figured maybe if I drank a little more of it, it'll it'll taste a bit better. But I'm just I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It's good. It, it, I could I could drink it. I could pick it out and drink it, but it's probably not something I would pick over say. Oh, I don't know, cherry coke. I mean, if I if I had to make the choice between this and cherry coke, I'm picking cherry coke every single time. If I had to pick between this and regular coke, I'd probably pick this. But if I'm picking between this and oh, I don't know, you know when you go to you know when you go to Wawa and you have those coke choices. Then again, you I I probably could have mixed orange and vanilla and I'd gotten an opinion early, but I didn't want to cheat. You know what I mean? But if I had a choice between like. Like raspberry coke or lemon coke or lime coke, I would. I, there's just so many choices I would pick over this, but I would still pick this over regular. I could drink it, but it's not not something I would drink more than once. Not something I would drink on the regular, so to speak. So there you have it. I, I'm, uh, I, 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 I'm not as much of a fan. I mean, it's, it, it's. Let me tell you what this tastes like. It basically tastes like the orange. It tastes like the orange cream, the creamsicle orange, the Stewart's. But when you mix the, but when you mix it with a cola flavor, it just gives it that bitter aftertaste. I'm not really a fan. But, I don't know, man. I just got mixed feelings on it. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a C plus. That's what I'm going to give it. Anyway, this has been another episode of Big D Eats. Or wait a minute, in this case, it's called Big D Drinks. And, let me know what you think. If you ever, if you ever try this, let me know if you like it. Because you may have a different opinion of me. You may think differently. Or you may think the same. Who knows? But if you ever tr but if you ever try this, try this and see what you think of it. And then tell me. I'm looking forward to hearing your answers. Anyway, y'all have a good one.